everyone, and welcome to another edition of Spartans Not Live. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 21st, and it is a D-Day. Mr. Woods, we got any birthdays on this D-Day? Yes, we do, Mr. Parasino, but if today was an A-Day, what does that make tomorrow? I don't know. My calendar is saying it is a D-Day, but it is a B-Day. <laughs> my, my calendar clearly says a B-Day is in birthdays. It is. That's. is. Let's do it one more time. Take three. Here we go. Oh. Oh, we're doing this single cut now. Here we go. Hey, we do have a couple of birthdays, Mr. Parasino. We have uh, uh, Cecilia Ward, CC. Happy birthday. Matthew Torello and Michael Torello. So happy birthday to both of the Torellos. Well, Mr. Woods, if I had a superpower, it would be to remember a calendar and learn how to read a calendar. That's from Mr. <laughs> Parasino. Um, Lily Frank of the Maroon team would like to be invisible so she could be sneaky. I'd like to be invisible so that I didn't keep messing up the calendar and nobody could see me doing so. But we have two special guests today. People might have seen them in the background. We have our school counselors with us today. You got to talk, Miss Raska. They can't see that. Yeah, it's an old school Dodd Middle School T-shirt. Wow, Spartans! That's wow. awesome. And only. This is older than you, Lindsay. Oh. Miss D'Angelo. I'm oh, sorry, Miss D'Angelo. Um, so, Miss <laughs> D'Angelo, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? I was gonna say invisible if I can mess with my friends and just surprise Miss Raska, sneak up on her. That's awesome. And how about you, Miss Raska? If you had a superpower, what would it be? It would be the ability to um, solve global warming. That would be what I would do. Both are uh, both are wonderful superpowers. <laughs> One's a little deeper than the other, but we'll just say they're, they're, they're wonderful. <laughs> okay, so to all our students, yesterday I shared with you a uh, – an email with the first video for the middle school leadership conference. We're going to be working on a second video and hopefully uh, progressing with some, some special guests um, in the second video. Um, so hopefully you have had some fun with that. And then also yesterday was our first day of library book collection and we've, we've gotten some library books in, but I know we have a large number of library books still out there. So we can, would appreciate what's the next collection, Mr. Woods. Uh, we have our next collection on Friday. Um, we do have a next. We have a collection two times next week, too, Wednesday and Friday of next week. Um, the first day, um, I tell you, the books were flowing in, all 43 of them. So we have a little bit to go. Um, just to make sure we tell our parents to uh, make sure we get those uh, those library yeah. books in. I was at the school t uh, yesterday as well, um, kind of opening up lockers to, to prepare for that locker piece. And I did see a lot of library books in there as well as well so we'll pull those um make sure that those get in for you um also taking a look at lockers um you know if we see a, a pile of you know crinkled up worksheets from november we're probably going to throw those away um and stuff like that so um but we did see uh i gotta tell you opening up uh eighth grade lockers i saw some pretty interesting things from a, a dance disco ball um to uh i think someone <laughs> someone's winter wardrobe uh was in there so that was an interesting experience. We're going to keep going with that, and we'll get your stuff back to you. Oh, awesome. Well, we do have our special guest with us, so I, I'll throw it out to Miss Raska and Miss D'Angelo. As we're here and our, you know, we're, we're approaching towards the end of May and in the end of uh, kind of our remote learning. You guys, I know we're trying to make a final push. You got any advice for our students? I would say it's fourth quarter. Let's as as a fourth quarter, whether it's a football game or the final few seconds of a basketball game, let's finish strong. We're we're almost to the end. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and let's just academically finish strong. I would agree with Miss Raska. We got this, and we're always here for you if you need us. So please, please, please reach out to us. We want you to do your best and finish strong and feel confident. And and you know. I mean, as Mr. Woods and I have said, our, our students really are stepping up and really are doing the best. And, you know, as an assistant principal, I know Mr. Woods as a principal, we couldn't be more proud than the way our students um, are representing the Dodd community. Um, even Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, listen, that's uh, that's going to be it for today's broadcast. We have two special guests. They're going to have to say their name at the end. So what we typically do, we do a round round horn of saying our names. And then and Mr. Mr. Paris, uh, and, and Mr. Paris, you know, always says something because it's very hard to shut them up. So uh, uh, without anything else, this is what? This is Miss Raska. Miss you guys. Miss D'Angelo here. And this is Mr. Parasino. And you've watched another edition of Spartans. Not, not live. I was messing with y'all. It's a B day. It's a